The following segment is sponsored by Spruce Aesthetics and Infusion Bar. <laughs> I am here at the beautiful Spruce Spa talking with Heather, who is an advanced nurse injector. Heather, it's great to see you. So good to see you. Okay, so I want to first start off talking mm -hmm. about threads for the face. Mm -hmm. They're called PDO threads. Everybody is talking about them. Yeah. Tell me what they are. So, I mean, you've seen them probably all over social media. Um, what they are is it's a polydiaxone, so it's a dissolvable suture that's actually placed under the skin to reposition tissues. Wow. Okay, and you have what one looks yeah. like. Show us. It, it looks like a piece of floss to me. Basically. Almost. So these threads have been used in surgery for decades. Um, it's actually a really common thing used in like cardiothoracic surgery, brain surgery, neonatal surgery. All it is is it's a dissolvable suture. And now what you're doing with them is you're putting them, is it like in the cheeks here? So it kind of gives you that like lift, yeah. right? So you can basically place them anywhere. Um, the most common is definitely right through here. How long does it last once you put them in? So everyone's a little bit different. Um, when it comes to lasting, these dissolve over six to nine months. As they're in that process, they're building collagen all the way around that thread. And so then what happens is as that thread's in there, depending on how much collagen production you have, depends on how long it's gonna last. Sure, that's incredible. Will you add more? I added one and we thought, hey, let's add maybe a couple more. Can you yeah. add multiples? You can. So we do them in vectors. So just like when you go through math, you do different vectors and you get a little bit of a lift. Um, that's how we place them, is through different vectors in the face or this, in the body. This is mind blowing, honestly, the way that the game has changed. And yeah. I know that you train people too, so yeah. it's a good idea to come to Heather because you know what you're doing. How long have you been training people? So I've been training people for a couple years. Um, I work for a company called PDO Max. Incredible. Yeah. And also, an alternate to threading is you yeah. can do fillers too, which is yeah. kind of like the pastime what people still use. Is right. that still pretty popular? It is. So, difference between fillers and threads. Um, threads, you're repositioning those tissues, where with filler, you're adding volume. You're adding volume. Where do people typically add filler in their face? So, people typically will get them in their lips, their chin, their cheeks, sometimes their temples, jawline, anywhere that you're wanting to kind of create a little bit more definition. A little plumping up. Yeah. which is which is nice to have sometimes yeah. you know, if, if someone came in and they thought okay Heather I don't really know what I need whether it's filler threads I'm just looking at my face and I'm thinking you know what I'm aging and I'm not loving it yeah. can you kind of help guide someone with what totally. they should do so we do free consultations here at spruce um, and go over all of the different things that we can talk about whether it be skincare threads Botox, filler, or even lasers lasers too I forgot to ask you too is yeah. there a lot of downtime with threads once you get it done there is, it's more of a social downtime. Okay. Like it's more of, it's not that you're wanting to go out and see people, but I was here at work um, a day after I had mine placed. Not bad, I love this. If we want to make an appointment, where can we go, Heather? You can go to www.sprucespa.com. Perfect, thanks for chatting with me, good Thank to see you. you. It's good to see you.